Welcome back everyone and welcome to another video. Yesterday I was the only person on the pitch at Arbroath FC. Now I'm the only person on this amazing beach somewhere just in between Arbroath and Montrose. Two big rivals here in Angus and today I'm continuing on in search for football clubs in Angus, a place famous for its meat and famous for its farms. Today, I'm making it famous through its football. I am going to see Arbro's big rivals Montrose this morning and then on to Brecon City as well. So stick around, it's gonna be a good video. Firstly, I wanna say a huge thank you. Last night, I hit a cool milestone, 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for all the support. The videos aren't stopping, they're just gonna get better and better. And speaking of getting better and better, if you enjoy my videos, please do support the channel by downloading One Football. It is the first link in the description box below and if enough of you download it chances are one football might sponsor me again which means i can keep making more videos that you will enjoy so like i mentioned today i am visiting the home of montrose so if i wanted to look up montrose i could simply search for them in the app and i can build the app around my favorite teams i can make them one of my favorite teams and get push notifications on goals, red cards, transfers and more. All of the best footballing news comes through one football and you will never be left in the dark about anything. Look at these views. So yeah, it is the first link in the description box below. It is completely free and like I said, if you download the app, you are supporting my channel. And yeah, if you enjoy the videos, it's a no-brainer. It's a free app. You'll love it. It's a quality app. So yeah, please do download it. They've got everything from Man United to Liverpool to Forfa and Arbroath. Look at this. Angus is absolutely beautiful. Ooh. Anyway, I'd say it was about time we got on the road and headed off towards the home of Montrose. Welcome to the town of Montrose. As you can see, here is a statue called the Seafarer, a nod to the coastal town here. But firstly, there's something that I need to show you up here. There's been a few videos where I've included pics of dogs and stuff like that. And uh, if I was to come to Montrose and not come and see and show you this, then I would be doing my love to dogs an injustice so this is his name bam bamsey is that how you'd say that b-a-m-s-e life-saving heroic world war ii norwegian sea dog 1937 to 1944 and here he is the heroic dog of world war ii what a lovely looking fella he is he's got a little hat on he's got a poppy on what an absolutely top bloke and here's more a beautiful place for him no doubt and uh yeah a nice nod to the services that not only humans gave during the war but also the animals so there you go on to the home of montrose football club we go and just down the road from where that lovely statue of the dog was I find myself now at Lynx Park Stadium, the home of Montrose. First stadium that I'm gonna to see today. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in, but I can at least give you a little view from over here. I'm really ticking off the uh, SPFL grounds at the moment. Founded in 1879, around 5,000 people can fit inside this stadium, which look, is right in and around the houses. And it actually seems like a really, really nice ground yeah they've won a couple of uh lower league titles and smaller cups and stuff like that in their history and they currently play in league one good little start to the day here yeah, in the 17-18 season, they won the fourth tier here, ending a 22-year run in Scotland's bottom tier of the SPFL. So yeah, fair play to Montrose for ending their 22-year kind of wait for promotion in the bottom tier. They're now in League One, the third tier. 
and their local rivals are Arbroath, uh, 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 who uh, I saw yesterday, of course, scored a goal at their stadium. Doesn't look like I'm going to get the chance here, unfortunately, but still, great to see. Get to see a good bit of the pitch, so that's all I ask for, really. However, yeah, even though Arbroath are their big rivals, it's still a big occasion when Forfa play here and when Brecon play here. And speaking of Brecon, This is a city, and I know it doesn't seem very city-ish. It certainly isn't the sprawling mega city that Bangkok is, or Kuala Lumpur. And yet, just a couple of miles up from where I was in Montrose, I am now in Brekin, again, still in Angus, and the fourth Angus team that I will be visiting in my Angus Derbies videos. And yeah, that'll be Brekin City FC. And right on cue, there's the bells. Brecon City FC I'll be seeing in a minute. And yes, they are called Brecon City, although they live and they are from this little area here with only 6,000 or maybe 7,000 inhabitants from what I could see online. But back in the day, to qualify as a city, all you needed was a cathedral. And that is what this is here. This is Brecon Cathedral. And that is why the football team have the name Brecon City FC. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the cathedral and sort of explain why then the football team would be called Brecon City FC. I wanna tell you as much as I can, not just about the teams, but about the place and how they fit in with where they are and kind of what makes them tick and what makes them who they are. And we've got another good day here today. Filming a few videos today, so if you see me in the same outfit for a few of my up and coming videos, then that'll be why. Anyway, yeah, off to the football club. And the football stadium lottery pays off once again. I have just found the groundsman who's doing some work here right now at the home of Brecon City FC, Glebe Park and he said that I'm able to come in and have a look. Oh my God, what a pitch this is. Now, this is a really, really famous hedge that has been here at Brecon for years and years. Apparently, the hedge, this is what the groundsman was just telling me, dates back to the time that the cathedral was built. And it's such a famous setting, look at this because it was dated back to the time the cathedral was built. Now, I think this all used to be church land and uh, eventually it became the football club. And look at that, the sun is poking through up there. We got the world famous Brecon Hedge at Glebe Park. And just look at that, I've had so much good luck in Angus. The weather and the hedge and the groundsmen and getting in these lovely little stadiums this is a lovely looking ground, I must say. And yeah, apparently William Wallace even hid behind the hedge when he was battling the English. Again, that is what the groundsman told me here. But um, yeah, there's a lot of legends and a lot of stories that go along with this very hedge here. And I'm sure all the Brecanites in the comments can uh, back me up on that and uh, kind of explain how famous it is and stuff. Right, let me uh, get a few pics. Insta G, make sure you follow me. And look, you can see from the color of the leaves on this famous hedge that we are now in autumn. Summer's gone and right around the corner is winter. Although, what a beautiful few days I've had here in Angus. Remember to hit that like button, drop me a comment if you're from Angus and subscribe if you aren't already. We're over 10,000 subs now. So yeah, join the team. Come on, it'll be good to see you aboard more regularly. And you can see inside more stadiums like this. So yeah, this is my fourth team in Angus that I visited now. I'm well on the way to seeing all 42 SPFL grounds before the end of 2020. There's not too many left anymore, but so I'll be buzzing when I tick them off. Last season, Brecon here actually finished bottom of the uh, SPFL pyramid, bottom of League Two. But due to COVID, and you would have seen this if you uh, watched my Kelty Hearts vid, Scottish football stopped and a points per game system um, kind of decided the league in a way but usually there'd be a highland and lowland playoff and then they'd play a team in league two who finished in like the relegation zone or whatever and they'd have a playoff to see who would 
either stay in or come up to the SPFL pyramid. That didn't take place because of COVID. And uh, yeah, they finished bottom of the pyramid, but didn't have to do the playoffs. So Brecon have had some tough years. A few years ago, a few seasons ago, they were in the championship, right? And listen to this. It doesn't sound tough. It sounds a lot better than where they are now, being in the championship, Scotland's second tier, but it gets worse. When they were in the championship a few years ago, they became the only club in Scottish league football history not to win a game all season. They ended the season with no wins, four draws and 32 losses and they didn't get a single point away from home. They only got four points here at Glebe Park. What a view. Look at the sun coming out now. Absolutely treated here. This is a football fest. Look at this. Look how traditional. Look how traditional this place is. Look. Here are the old benches from the old dugouts, I believe. And then. Oh, look. Get my press conference there. What a view. What a view. And look. These cool new seats, look. In the dugouts. Look at that, the sun is shining on Breakin. And again, same as our broth. That right there, people, is real grass. I was just chatting to the groundsman and he says it holds up pretty well. The pitch is kind of raised up a little bit here and it drains away. But look, there's one of those cameras again that's supposed to follow the ball but followed the linesman's head i'm sure all the clubs are kind of needing those at the moment and look at that could you name me a better place to play a game of football look at that the famous hedge over there that protected william wallace that used to be part of the cathedral the church and even the badge dons what i'd imagine is the cathedral. So yeah, with the Breakin Hedge behind me, I please urge you to like this video and subscribe if you're new. Please do download One Football. It would really support the channel and it might mean that I can create more videos in the future that you'll enjoy. Thank you so much for watching from what is a beautiful football stadium here. Goodbye.